In this video, we'll have a quick look at monitoring Kubernetes and the application running on Kubernetes. The Cluster Explorer gives us a visual representation of the cluster and the pods running on it. Note the explanation on the right side. From here, we can drill down and see the performance of the cluster. We can go back and see the performance of the control plane, click on a node and see its performance, and look at the Kubernetes events in the Events tab. Going back to the Overview tab, we can see pods that are running, alerting, or pending, and we can also see a table at the bottom part of the screen showing all the pods, the containers, their status, and additional information. Let's look at a couple of issues we have in this environment. We can look at pods that are in pending state and see what's the problem. It looks like we used an invalid image name. We need to correct this issue. Let's look at the pod that is alerting in a critical state. The pod is running, but the container is waiting in a crash loop backoff. We can look at the pod logs for additional information. Looks like some CPU stress test is crashing. That's strange. We need to check that. Going back to the Cluster Explorer, we can scroll down and click on one of the pods that is alerting. We can see performance metrics for the container and the application. We can have a look at the pods logs, the container logs, or look at the application performance. You can look at traces for the application and analyze slow traces or traces with errors. Let's have a look at one of the slower traces that also has an error. This distributed trace is going across 14 entities and has one error and one anomalous span. We can see additional information about the anomalous span as well as additional information about the error. This specific trace is going across 14 entities and we can see logs for this trace from these entities, including the error that came from the order status service. So how do we get started with monitoring Kubernetes? To monitor Kubernetes, choose Add More Data, Kubernetes, choose your account, give the cluster name in the namespace, choose Setup for Unprivileged Mode if needed, and select your setup options depending on what type of information you want to get. You can install the integration using Helm or as a daemon set. In this case, we'll just choose a daemon set. Download the manifest file and apply it. As always, for the most updated and accurate information, please refer to the documentation. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you very much for your time.